amazing thing about C60 is it doesn't interfere with any of the body's uh, signaling molecules. And they discovered this with another scientific study. They wanted to find out, well, does this molecule, at what level does, can it become toxic? So they went to an extreme experiment where they gave rats one gram per kilogram of body weight, C60, which is 10,000 times more than what a health beneficial dose has been discovered in other scientific studies, animal studies primarily. And uh, even at that insane level of C60, C60 still had no toxicity at all. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's a little red button, you punch that, and it's gonna notify you every time we put out a new episode that can help you improve your bone health. And then also, if you haven't done so already, head over to bonecoach.com, sign up for the free seven day osteoporosis kickstart. That's gonna walk you through everything you need to be doing right now to get on the path to improvement and stronger bones. After you do those two things, go ahead and press play on this episode, and I'll see you inside. Welcome, welcome to this episode of The Bone Coach Show. Joining us today to explore C60 and bone health is Kenneth Swartz. Ken Swartz is an AKA, Ken the Scientist is the founder and chief science officer of C60 Purple Power, a health and wellness company committed to delivering the highest quality C60 products available. Ken earned a master of science degree from the University of Colorado at Denver, and a bachelor of science in economics from Arizona State University. Ken has run several research science laboratories over the course of his career and discovered C60 while developing the Moxie Fusion Reactor. During his research, he became aware of the powerful free radical neutralizing properties of C60, and he first began using C60 as a radiation protectant while leading a fusion reactor project. He noticed after taking C60 for a few months that not only was it protecting him from the radiation, but it was also improving his overall health, so he continued taking it, and after about eight months after Ken started taking C60, uh, he was at a routine visit with an optom uh, optometrist and discovered that his dry macular de degeneration was gone. The doctor was dumbfounded and told him that in all his years, he had never seen such a miraculous outcome. Due to his healing experience, he decided to dedicate himself to the research, study, and production of C60 Buckminster Fulling products. In 2016, he founded C60 Purple Power. So Ken, welcome to the show. Well, I'm glad to be on. Well, thanks so much for being here. So the first thing is, and I've heard of C60, you know, becoming more prevalent in the health and wellness space. And a lot of people aren't too familiar with it, you know, at least at this point at the time of this recording, but I'd love for them to get just a general understanding. What is C60? Well, right now in the health space, C60 is sort of in the pre-adapters stage. So it's maybe where CBDs would be like 10, 15 years ago. C60 is basically, it's a little molecule of 60 carbon atoms shaped exactly like a uh, hollow soccer ball, kind of like that. There's also, you can see behind me on the screen. And uh, what it was, it actually was discovered by three guys in 1985, Harry Croto, Richard Smalley, and Robert Curl. And it actually solved an outstanding uh, mystery in astronomy. There was some sort of molecule, big molecule in space because it was absorbing in the infrared bands. But what sort of molecule could be strong enough to survive in the high energy radiation environment of space? And so the, they actually discovered it in 1985. And then in 1996, they got a, uh, a Nobel Prize in chemistry because this is a completely, fullerenes are a completely new type of molecule. And actually they named it after Buckminster fullerene, uh, Buckminster. So that's actually the name is Buckminster fullerene. And what's really interesting in the, I think it was in the early 70s, Buckminster Fuller predicted this molecule would be discovered and that it would have uh, important health benefits. In, in terms of, uh, you know, just for, for listeners who may not even be familiar what, um, you know, carbon atoms and things like that are, can we, can we break that down even a little bit for them? Oh, yeah, there's carbon, carbon, it's a, there's a there's thing called allotropes. And that's, that's a uh, substance that is all the same element, carbon, this case being carbon, but they have totally different properties. So like people are familiar with the allotropes of carbon, you have graph graphite, which is like the lead in your pencil. But another allotrope of carbon is diamond, right, which is clear and really hard. And then there's graphene. And, and then there's a new group of them called fullerenes. And C60 is like the first fullerene. There's also a C70 and a C84. And so these are uh, they're like molecules of all of the same element, but they have uniquely different, every one of them has uniquely different chemical property. 
Okay. Uh, and then in terms of, um, I, how did you actually go about, and I know you kind of talked about how you were working on this, this project with radiation, uh, and you know, it was protecting you from radiation. Uh, how did you notice that, that that was actually happening? Well, well what it is, is, you know, I, I had, uh, like I said before, I was working on metal oxygen fusion as a rather new fusion process. And when I was doing the research, most of the scientists who were the late doctor this and the late doctor that, they had actually uh, died from radiation associated injuries during the research on this. So that put, that was, I didn't, want to, I didn't want me or my team to become the late doctor this, the late doctor that. So I went out searching for something to protect against radiation. You know, because we could be dealing with an unknown type of radiation here. So, which, you know, these, I mean, because these were fully qualified scientists, PhDs, right? And, and it was something was still having a devastating effect on their health. So I discovered this stuff called carbon 60. It's, its nickname is C60. That's what most people call it. And they had done this scientific study. And uh, in one study, they gave one set of rats C60. The other control group didn't get any. They hit them with a fatal dose of radiation. And all the C60 rats live, but all the control rats like immediately died. So when I heard about that, I said, uh, I'm going to get, so I'm going to get that for myself and my crew. And uh, so we, during the experiment, we were taking it and, uh, and we're all still here by the way. And, uh, and uh, one of the things I noticed is when I was taking the C60 is that like my afternoon blahs went away, you know, when you have lunch and then about two o'clock, you want to go take a nap that went away. And I used to try to ride dirt bikes and had a few wrecks. And so a lot of, you know, broken bones and stuff. So a lot of those little aches and pains started to, to fade. And then, as you mentioned in the introduction, I went into my eye doctor and, uh, you know, and I had had, you know, Drew's, it's called Drew's or dry mac regeneration. And it, it was slowly progressing. And, uh, you know, but still, it's, you know, you can lose your vision over this. And so I had gone in that, that time and he was sitting there staring, you know, and normally he just checks it for a little bit and moves on. But this time he was like staring for minutes in my eyes each eye going back and forth, you know, and I started, started sweating and said, uh Oh, what's going on. And then he like puts down the, puts down the flashlight and opens up the little file and he reads it. Then he goes and does it again for a couple of minutes. Then he puts it down again and he opens the file again. And, you know, by then I'm really sweating. I'm going, Oh my God, am I going to go blind? And then he, you know, takes one last look and he goes on to the rest of the uh, examination. So during the whole examination, I'm kind of sitting there, you know, really nervous, sweating. Oh, no, what is, what's going to happen here? <clears throat> Which probably isn't good for my vision. But uh, at the end of the examination, finally, we, we started reviewing things. And he, he told me that, uh, yeah, my macular, my Drew's dry macular degeneration had completely disappeared. And he'd never seen that before in as many years, decades of service. And uh, which, you know, but you got to realize that like a scientist, one thing is just a fluke. So in the meantime, uh, the electrical engineer of my research project, Gary Rodriguez, he had developed a severe type two uh, or, or severe wet macular degener degeneration. And of course, that was associated with Rodriguez, right? He also had developed type two diabetes. They kind of go together. And so uh, I made him a... Uh, I made him a formulation of C60 and MCT coconut oil. And uh, for people listening, MCTs are medium chain triglycerides and they can be turned into ketones in your liver. So they're like flex fuel for your cells. So if your cells don't have glucose to burn, they can always burn that ketone. So it's like, it just gives it a, that's probably, that's the best why I made it in that. And after taking a, a tablespoon for about a year and a half, his uh, wet macular degeneration uh, had completely disappeared. I used to be able to post, and you could see his before and after uh, uh, pictures of the inside of his eyeball. They're pretty heinous with lesions everywhere. Totally gone. I, and uh, and so at that point, I knew something was going on. This was kind of important. So by then, I kind of developed uh, formulations. I started making it in uh, in uh, for my friends and family. And then my, my personal, you know, alternative healthcare people like chiropractors and uh, acupuncturists and stuff, they, they had heard about it and they were kind of interested. So I shared it with them and they started having great success with themselves and then their patients. <clears throat> and so I kind of ended up becoming the C60 milkman driving around uh, the greater Denver area, dropping off C60 to clinics here and there. But what, what really took it off is when I actually I'd, I'd been sharing it with Internet influencers. And one day, one internet influencer kind of mentioned how it had saved his life on a show. And, you know, sales went to the roof. I had to shut down the website. 
<coughs> work three weeks for 17 hours a day to uh to to fulfill all those orders so i could reopen and uh and there's one thing led to the other and now now i have now there's this company c60 purple power that's amazing and and um so this really started circa what time where, where you were kind of experimenting and it seems like it was more about 2014 is when we were, we were running the the uh moxie fusion which by the way actually did successfully work and uh you'll probably read about it in your papers one day that's it's great developed in so, some countries around the world so okay. it, we were we were, we actually reaffirmed the osawa and kushi there were like two researchers in the 60s who had done all this research but it kind of was suppressed and forgotten and we just took their work and confirmed their findings and and then we basically gave the information because we didn't come up with it originally. So, That's great. so, so we've got, um, so we've got C60. Okay. So C60, um, it, I know we talked about macular degeneration. What else can C60 help with? What are the other, you know, why would somebody make a decision or go out and actively say, you know what, I've got X, let me go get C60 to help with that. Well, let me give a little on the, the health the health story of C60. You know, they got a Nobel Prize in 1996, but it was really hard to make. And so they had to develop some techniques to produce, you know, C60 in large quantities. And so by the early 2000s, they actually had that done. And so the first thing you want to do is test something. This is a molecule found in outer space. It's also found like 0.25% in the burnt wick of your candle. But uh, this is something totally new. So they wanted to test for toxicity. So one of the, like the classic study, the Botry study, they were testing for toxicity and they found that C60 increased the lifespan of test animals by 90%. And then like in another mouse study, it uh, completely eliminated cognitive decline and other diseases associated with aging and also significantly increased the mouse lifespan. And so, and once that got out there, the people started doing all kinds of research on things. They had one where <coughs> C60, uh, well, they did the radiation experiment I, I described for you earlier. They've done things with uh, arthritis. Now, there's, there's basically four, I think, three, three main human studies. One is uh, they, there's a cream uh, where they put C60 in a cream and applied it topically, and, in, and it significantly reduced wrinkles in Japanese women. And also, they did another one. Another study with that is they, they took human mast cells. They released histamines which causes the allergic response. Uh -huh. And uh, they found that C60 moderated the release of, of histamines in mast cells. And then they took that to an animal study where they had, uh, so I think, rats that had been conditioned to go into aphylactic shock when exposed to an allergen. And then they found, then they gave one set of rats C60, the other sets didn't. The rats that, uh, that, uh, that and then they gave them the, the uh, allergen, the rats that had been C60 didn't go into aphylactic shock. Obviously, they had a reaction, but they didn't go in that, whereas the control rats all went into aphylactic shock, shock, and most of them perished. So they had that. They had another with the C60 human skin cells in, in uh, the test tube, and they found that C60 significantly reduced uh, damage from ultraviolet light. So, And then they've taken that on to other animal studies. Interesting. So, um, And then how is it supporting mitochondrial function? Well, that's the thing is C60 is, is one of the most powerful antioxidants known. And for, you know, oxidative radicals, oxidative radicals cause a lot of damage in your body. And it's essentially, they're usually molecules with an extra electron and usually have an oxygen in them. And they basically cause the rusting of your body. So if you have, if you don't have enough antioxidants, you get things like the oxidative radicals or cross-linked proteins. Proteins are kind of complicated things, need to fold and back and forth to do the other jobs. If they get cross-linked, they can't do that. Another thing is uh, oxidative radicals will punch holes in your cellular membranes or your mitochondria membranes. So things leak out that shouldn't or things leak in that shouldn't, and that can cause a lot of oxidative stress. And of course, you have your DNA and RNA. That's the blueprints of your cells. And if an oxidative radical damages your blueprints, then that cell is kind of in trouble because it can't function that. <laughs> but what they found in the, in the mitochondria is, you know, for a lot of things to be uh, effective, they have to be able to be absorbed through your gut barrier and then often through your blood uh, brain barrier. So, and, and there's a lot of antioxidants. Now, normally when we're younger, our, our body produces enough antioxidants. But as we get older, a lot of antioxidant levels go down. And, and there are some, simply some antioxidants you can't really supplement for. 
And the big three of those are SOD, which is superoxide dismutase, and, that, and catalase. Those two work with superoxide. That's a, basically an oxygen with an extra electron, and that is the most damaging oxidative radical in your body. And your mitochondria make most of that. In fact, 65% of all the oxidative radicals in your cell are made in the mitochondria. And they're kind of like little powerhouses of your cell. They produce ATP and a lot of other things. ATP is the energy molecule of your cell. Something like over 95% of all the energy your cell uses comes from ATP. So it's a little furnace and furnaces put out a little pollution. And then, and then the uh, C60 also, uh, also does the job of glutathione in dealing with the hydroxyl radical or ion, that's basically a water molecule or one of the protons have been torn off. And that's the second most damaging oxidative radical. And, uh, but glutathione has a lot of uh, different other different things it does in the body. But uh, for instance, radiation produces the hydroxyl ion and which is which C60 takes care of, which is why it was such a great radiation protectant. So, so when you take C60, it it's, it's passes the gut barrier, passes the blood brain barrier. It's actively uptaken into the cells through endocytosis and then into the mitochondria. There's, they seem to know how to use this into the mitochondria where it can neutralize superoxide and the hydroxyl ion. And, but what's really amazing about C60 is that it doesn't interfere with any of the signaling molecules in your body. You probably heard pretty, your listeners have heard how taking too much antioxidants can be damaging to your body. Because there's a because you need to take a balance of oxidants and antioxidants because a lot of the the oxidative radicals in your body are actually used as signaling molecules, and like examples of those are the nitrogen oxides, and that's a vasodilator. So that makes your capillaries contract or or relax, and also there's hydrogen peroxide, and then there's a, a several of them other ones based around sulfur, iron, and zinc, and your body uses these for signaling molecules. So if you take too much of an antioxidant like Na NAC or perhaps vitamin E, it can actually suppress those signaling molecules and that can cause uh, a disbalance or malfunction in your cells and can actually be seriously damaging if you have too much of it. So the amazing thing about C60 is it doesn't interfere with any of the body's uh, signaling molecules. And they discovered this with another scientific study where, you know, I, I had talked about, you know, how it increased the lifespan of rats by 90% or got rid of cognitive decline or got rid of, they saved them from radiation or got rid of arthritis and, and other things that uh, C60 did. And so, but they wanted to find out, well, does this molecule, at what level does it, can it become toxic? So they went to an extreme experiment where they gave rats one gram per kilogram of body weight, C60, which is 10,000 times more than what a health beneficial dose has been discovered in other scientific studies, animal studies primarily. And uh, even at that insane level of C60, C60 still had no toxicity at all. And then further research discovered because C60 only dealt with the superoxide, which is the most damaging oxidative radical in the body, and the hydroxyl ion, which is the second most damaging oxidative radical in the body. And they're so damaging, the body does not use these as signaling molecules. And so, uh, but C60 didn't interfere with any of the sig body signaling molecules. So it basically has no toxicity at any level. So That's really, really interesting. Um, and just, to, I just want to make sure I summarize this for our audience to, to capture everything. And uh, so we've got free radicals can damage your cells and your tissues, including your bones. C60 is working at that cellular level by basically lifting that oxidative burden. That's really helping the mitochondria, other cellular processes function normally. Then um, we were talking about free radicals are basically, they're damaging cells and tissues or can cause damage in cells and tissues through this process called oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is counteracted by antioxidants. And we're already familiar with certain antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium. Um, but then also, it sounds like some of those other antioxidants that we may use have a toxic limit to them, whereas C60 does not have that toxic limit. Yeah, so one thing I want to say is that C60 doesn't really, what C60 does, it really lifts the oxidative burden your cells are under so that your cells can function. 
So, but you, you got to think like vitamin E and vitamin D and vitamin A and vitamin C, they just aren't antioxidants. They're also very important building blocks in your body, like NAC too. And so, and so, you know, you can't stop taking them. It's always good. It's like C60 can lift the oxidative burden, but you've got to provide the proper nutrition so that the cells can run properly. And so, yeah, so one of the things is, you know, you have to have, well, proper nutrition, good supplementation with, with vitamins and minerals, uh, exercise, uh, probably eating organic food as well. So you, you avoid like the toxic burden. I mean, and getting good sleep and all of those things you need to do to, uh, to kind of, uh, to, to, to promote good health. C60 is just one tool in that toolbox on a path to good health. It's, it's not a magic pill. Perfect. I'm glad you said that. And, and we outlined that because, um, it, that's important also is there's no single thing that's going to turn everything around. It, it all plays in and ties in together. Um, okay. That's great. And then uh, in terms of bone health, uh, how can C60 support bone health? Well, there's two ways C60 supports bone health. And in the first one, I'll also talk about a counterindication. Uh, one of the things that mitochondria do well, obviously, when you take C60, one of the first things people notice is increase in mental clarity and, uh, and energy. And well, obviously, that's because that's because C60 increases the efficiency of mitochondria. Now, the number one place that you have, you know, mitochondria the, is your nerve cells. Like your brain's, what, three pounds and it uses 20% of your body's energy. So anything with mitochondria have, it's, it's going to go up. So you're, you get that mental clarity comes back really quickly. And, uh, but another cell group of uh, cell organs or glands is the endocrine system. And they have an awful lot of mitochondria. And <clears throat> when the mitochondria get repaired or get back up to functioning, what the, what in the endocrine system, mitochondria produce, all, mitochondria produce besides ATP, the energy molecule cell, but especially in the endocrine organs or glands, they produce pregnenolone which is the precursor molecule for all the hormones. And they actually manufacture it out of LDL cholesterol. And so when you take C60, pregnenolone production returns to your endocrine system. So now all of your endocrine system can make, uh, can make more hormones. And so like in the pineal gland, you're gonna get people report, you know, oh, we get much better sleep. In the pituitary hypothalamus complex, I guess it's back there somewhere, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, they get, uh, you know, they get human growth hormone goes up as well as like a dozen other master hormones. That's a really complicated hormonal system. And we've had reports like uh, people per, are per, in the production of T3 and T4 go up. But, uh, and also there's the androgens, or there's also all, the, then there's the, well, the adrenal glands. Those are probably some of the most important uh, endocrine system in our body. And they make a whole bunch of things. They make the androgens which then are converted in your body to testosterone and estrogen and progesterone. <laughs> and one of the side effects of C60 is an increase, a significant increase in libido for both men and women. So just be aware of that side effect. <clears throat> but other things that the endocrine system, well, they make uh, cortisone, which is a stress hormone. So and you, there used to be a thing called pregnenolone steel, whereas, you know, a lot of the pregnenolone have to go to make cortisone and there's nothing left over for the rest of it. When you take in C60, that goes away. So now you get enough cortisone, which helps you deal with stress. But also more importantly, the, uh, the adrenal glands produce mineral corticoids and they, they kind of balance the mineral balance in your blood. And so if, if you're on a blood thinner because your blood's too thick, when, when you take C60, it can restart the mineral corticoid production or increase it in your, in your adrenals. And then your blood moves toward a more balanced, uh, balanced level. It's less thick. And so if you are on a blood thickening medication, you know, like Warfarin or something, you need to consult with your doctor and get extra testing because if the underlying problem goes away and you're on a blood thinner, then your blood's too thin. And so that can be a problem. So that's a counterindication. And also another one is it's, it's, it happens a little slower, but that's with hormones. Um, we, we have this with both men and women. Like we had a seven-year-old guy. He's, and this is common. We've had this, a lot of that. And he, he went in, he had testosterone at like 350, right? So he's on, so the doctor gives him creams and then he decides to take C60. And like a few months later, he goes into the doctor and now his testosterone level is 1200, which is pretty high for a 70 year old guy. So the doctor backed him off of the creams. 
So, uh, so you might, if you're also on uh, some sort of hormone replacement therapy, you probably want to consult with your physician and get a little extra testing because your hormone levels will rise, but they rise. It's not like hormone replacement therapy. They just rise across the board as your endocrine system kind of comes back online. Now, what are the benefits of that? Obviously for bone health, if you have increased uh, and balanced hormone levels in your body, that probably will contribute to uh, the proper functioning of the cells in your bone and perhaps a better, a better capacity for you know, osteoblasts to build bone and balance with the osteoclast. Uh, and, and bones are an endocrine organ also. So that's, oh. oh, well, that's, yes, I guess. And that's great because that plays right into that. Um, but in terms of any other health benefits that you can think of, or that's, maybe you're that's the of? second thing I wanted to talk about how C60 can probably help people with bone health. Cause it's helped a lot of other people and, uh, with other things. One of the things is in, in, we have in our body, especially as we get older, we have these things called senescent cells. They're basically like zombie cells. Maybe the chromosomes are damaged. Maybe the telomeres are too short and, and, but they don't want to die. Normally, there's this process where a senescent cell goes away. So they tend to want to go to the fermentation process. We're usually oxidation burners. Fermentation is the opposite of that. It's like 1 20th the efficiency of oxygen burning, and it produces like a toxins that poisons neighboring cells because those cells don't want to die. And, uh, and so <clears throat> part of that process is they, they stop providing uh, things like superoxide dismutase and catalase and glutathione to the mitochondria. So the mitochondria now have to go into a fermentation process. And, uh, and in fact, that's what probably also what happens in cancer cells, but we won't talk about that really. And so what happens when you take C60, it, it's actively uptaken even by the senescent cells and then into the mitochondria and it turns the mitochondria on in senescent cells. And what happens is not only do you start making ATP, but they send messages to the nuclear DNA, the, the main DNA of the cell. And if they don't get the right message back, which they won't in a senescent cell, they initiate apoptosis, which is what is called programmed cell death. But it's non-inflammatory. The cell kind of breaks down into little apoptotic bodies and the phagocytes come in and clean it up. And so, so what happens is, uh, <clears throat> so there's a significant loss of, a significant loss of senescent cells in the body. And this causes the body to increase the stem cell production. So people on C60 generally have like incredibly high levels of stem cells. We had like a 70 year old guy go in and, uh, you know, he goes in for, for treat for, you know, stem cell therapy and the guy has come running, rushing in and said, what are you doing? You know, you have the stem cell levels of a 20 year old and this is very common. And so when you have like this large level of, uh, cause you, as senescent cells are being wiped out, you have this large lesson and, and the stem cells are everywhere in your body. So for instance, if you've got an immune challenge, you know, immune cells come from stem cells. So now there's this army of stem cells con converted to immune cells. And it's likely, even though there isn't any scientific studies to support this yet, but we've seen it in like cartilage regrowth in test animals. But with that plentiful supply of stem cells, you're going to be having, you'll be able to have stem cells that, you know, can be turned into osteoblasts or osteoclasts or whatever is needed by the body to, to help, to help with, you know, rebuilding things. Cause well, I talk, we, there's one scientific study where it came from another, which is they actually had rabbits that had, had their, their joints damaged to purposely cause them to have inflammation. And they were testing and they were just testing C60 as it, because it, it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. You know, people with take, take with arthritis, you know, the, the swelling and pain goes down significantly. And uh, so they were doing, they were kind of, so they were testing in that area and they found not only did the inflammation in the rabbit's uh, joints go down, but it's the cartil cartilage significantly regrew. And it, as that was examined, that's where they discovered this, uh, this amazing increase in, uh, in stem cell production and traced it back. So, and we've actually had reports, a lot of people reports that people that take C60, and for several years, and then go in that they have before and after they go in and do the telomere tests, their telomere length, average telomere length is actually increased. But it's not because the telomeres on any particular cell have increased. It's because senescent cells usually have very shortened telomeres, and they're all wiped out. And then they're replaced by stem cells, which have a full set of telomeres. And when you're testing for telomeres, you're testing tens of thousands of cells. So average telomere length increases with long-term use of C60.
And this is great. Like, it sounds like there's some really promising, especially anecdotal, but also there are some studies and things like that out there supporting the use of C60. And I'm, I would venture to guess that maybe the more, um, the more that this gets out there and the more people are using it, I'm guessing there's probably going to be more, maybe even larger scale studies, maybe more studies with people and things like that too done in the future. Yes, there are several underway that I know of. They haven't been published. And, but C60 has also found another use, you know, uh, you know, they aren't, a lot of pharmaceuticals aren't, companies aren't particularly happy with, you know, something like C60, but they have discovered that C60, they can actually use ligands and attach various drugs to C60 and use it as a delivery method. So you get like the benefits of C60 and your delivery drug. And it's, it's sort of like a replacement for HCL. So they can actually, which is hydrochloric acid for your listeners. And usually if you look at your medications, you'll see HCL on it. That's because they've attached the hydrochloric acid. So it'll make it through your stomach into your small intestine to be absorbed. And they found that they can do the same thing with many drugs with C60. So they can't really push us too hard because they have all these patents about C60. But C the C60 molecule itself can't be patented because it's produced by nature. I mean, it's produced in lightning strikes, as I mentioned before, you know, a quarter percent of your, uh, your, your candle is, is C60. But uh, of course, what you're looking for is like a high quality product produced in the laboratory of 99.9%. And, and I know we were talking about before that, okay, there, you know, there were rats that were given, you know, 10,000 times the amount that, you know, a normal healthy uh, dose would be. But what is an actual for a, a healthy adult oh. or an, an adult that's going to you know implement this into their health and wellness routine? What does that look like for them? Okay, well, there's there's two factors you need to put in. One is body weight or body size, and the other is age. And so, let's say if you're 160 pounds in your 30s or 40s, uh, and you know mid weight there, uh, probably a teaspoon a, a teaspoon a day would be perfectly fine for you. But let's say if you're, you have a few white hairs and you're up in the 60s or you weigh a bit more, uh, a tablespoon is more appropriate. You'd probably never need to take more than a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half, which is three teaspoons. Uh, you know, beyond that, as I mentioned, it doesn't really have any toxicity beyond that, but you're probably not going to get any added benefit either. <laughs> so somewhere which is, which is so that would be like a, yeah, basically less than an ounce is the, be the maximum that you ever take. But more, for most people, it's a teaspoon. And uh, or or for larger for guys, it's usually a tablespoon. Also, one more thing, you need to take it in the morning because when you take it, it kind of ramps up everything and gets you a little uh, gets, you know, all the things work in your body. But so if you take it like really late at night, it can keep you up. at night. OK, that's good to know. And then, you know, so let's say somebody starts to take this, uh, starts to take C60 and they're following, you know, the exact amount that they're supposed to be taking for their body weight and their age and things like that. How long is it before they start seeing or noticing or feeling any kind of benefit uh, to that? Well, there, there are several steps of benefits you're going to discover. The first thing you're probably going to feel within a week for 10 days. Uh, well, well, let me go to the very first step. If you've never taken an oil, a oil before straight, you know, it's, it's best absorbed in an empty stomach, but if you've never taken an oil straight, your stump, your digestive system isn't used to that. So you probably want to take it with food in the morning, unless you're used to that. If after a while, your, your, your pancreas and bile system learn how to deal with it. And it's not a problem after like a month, but for, if you're just taking it, just take it first with a bit of food. <clears throat> and then the first thing that you, well, the first thing, well, by the way, there is a little bit of detox sometimes for some people. One of the things we've uh, noticed is if you've got a lot of mouth metal, mercury fillings and stuff in there, for the first couple of days, you may have like a slightly metallic taste in your mouth. We found in, in the laboratory, we found that C60 will convert mercury hydroxide, which is a bioavailable form, into mercury oxide, a nut bioavailable form, which your body can actually excrete. And so one of the, this is just anecdotal, but people that take C60 for a while have really, really low levels of heavy metals. Because C60 kind of has a positive two charge, a little bit like mercury, and it's about a couple times bigger than it. So what happens, it appears to discharge inorganic mercury and other heavy metals from the body, which or convert them into oxides, which are biologic, which the body can pull and dump out. So you might have a little bit of metallic taste in your mouth for a couple of days, then it goes away. And then about somewhere between seven to 10 days after that, 
what you're going to be starting to notice is you're going to start noticing a whole lot more energy, a whole lot more mental clarity, like that brain fog will go away. Because the first thing that benefit, anything with a lot of mitochondria in it are the first things going to benefit and your nerves have the most mitochondria. Then after a while, it takes a while, then you're probably going to notice uh, like and maybe a little bit of increase in sleep, <laughs> increase in libido. Uh, and, and when that's, it takes a little bit longer, but that's when, because the endocrine system probably has the second highest level of mitochondria, takes a little longer. That's going to be the benefits you're going to see there. And, and then your muscles, of course, also have a lot of mitochondria. So when you, if you do exercising, you're going to notice, uh, like you're going to be notice more endurance. It's going to take a lot, it'll take significantly longer before the lactic acid builds up. So you can run farther, lift more, pedal longer, whatever it is, swim more, uh, before you, you get tired. That's another one. And also, by the way, there's a lot of athletes that use C60, especially the MCT, because the MCT turns into short chain triglycerides which are not just great for people with glucose processing issues, but they're really great for athletes. And we've had actually, I will say names, and it's not banned by any athletic competition in the whole world because it doesn't fit in any category. C60 isn't a nutrient. It isn't a supplement. It isn't a drug. It isn't a food. It's, isn't, it's, it's like an allotropic carbon. It's its own thing. There's, it fits in no category. So they, they don't really know how to do with it. So we've had people that are we're in mid-pack, in their field become national champions. So we won't name names. And we, there's another C60 company of friends of ours that sells C60 to some to a, na to a nation in uh, Europe, which they use for the horses. And they've had horses go from, you know, mid pack to, to champions in their field too. But it's, you know, there's no, the testing, the people don't have any problem with C60 so far. So yeah, that athletic per performance will get in. And then the final benefit you're gonna see is because C60 likes to hang out in uh, the endoplasm reticulum, which is right next to your nucleus, that's where your proteins are made, by the way. All the little, that's like the manufacturing of your body, all the neurotransmitters and all that stuff. So after a while, all your, as your body rebuilds itself, because your body, I mean, pretty much every seven years, your body rebuilds itself. So as your body rebuilds itself, it can now produce proteins that aren't damaged by oxidative radicals. So they're working right. And, and uh, neurotransmitters are working right. All these other things. So as these new, these, various chemical parts that bricks and boards that build your cells up <clears throat> come out working correctly, you have this long, slow term increase. And of course, part of that is also getting rid of the senescent cells and getting in the stem cells in there that are actually can do the job that the senescent cells weren't doing. And so you just see it over -rise, overall general rise in health. That's great. And I, I would suspect if people are seeing some of these, maybe if they're already seeing these changes in their health, um, I'd be interested to even see somebody, you know, have some blood work or something like that done. Obviously, there may be other variables that are playing into that, but have some blood work done before, have some blood work done after a period of X time and just measure some of those changes or improvements in some of those different markers that we talked about in here. Yeah, we were actually doing that with us and our DNA. So we've actually done that with us and, and, and we love it when customers uh, do that. They got blood work before and they got blood work after. And if they're willing to share their results with us, we, we really like, enjoy that. And we don't release anybody's uh, information without permission. It's just, sure. it's just for us learning because C60 is kind of very new <coughs> in the health market. And, uh, and, and that's probably another thing I'd probably want to talk about. You know, back in 2016, I mentioned, I mentioned it, you know, there, there was just a handful of C60 companies and all of them were making probably a pretty good quality product for their customers because they used it themselves. Everything, you know, it's just a small, tiny, you know, scientists and 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 super biohackers were basically the only ones using C60. And then it became popular. And once it became popular, we had all of these fly-by-night uh, people come in selling products which don't have any C60 in them, have like low quality C60 or low concentrations of C60. And uh, so, so that it's kind of like the CBD market. So you have to be careful now when you buy C60 and C60. And I could probably elaborate on that, what you really want to see in a C60 product. Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about that um, as, because I know we're coming close to our time here and I just want to make sure uh, we, we make sure people understand if they are going to be out, you know, if they decide C60 should be in their health and wellness plan, they want to start incorporating. What does that look like? What do they need to look out for? Okay. The first thing you want to look for is purity of your C60. You want to go for 99.99% pure C60. 
because uh, anything less than that, it's for all, which I'll discuss later, you can get some, some toxic uh, things. So look for 99.99% purity or 99.98% purity or something. There's a reason for that. And the second, you want to get sublimated C60. Sublimation is like the cousin of evaporation you may remember from high school chemistry class. It's when a solid turns into a gas, then back into a solid. And so all of our C60 is in a sublimator. It's never been exposed to solvents. Now, a lot of C60 out there, especially if you see C60, it's 99.9% or 99.5%. That is solvent produced C60. And, and the solvent they use is methyl benzene, also known as toluidine, which is pretty nasty industrial solvent. And what they do is they'll produce this, they'll dissolve the C60 in this solvent, and then they'll try to bake the solvent out. You know, repeatedly bake it off. And, and you know, you can bake it off to a 99.9 .9 level, but that there's always a little bit left. But the problem is, is a lot of people are buying like, see, we buy our C60 for North America, but a lot of people buy it from China and stuff. So it's can be a little contaminated. And if you like it, so if you see somebody with a 99.9% uh, C60 product, well, the problem is that 0.1% is going to be <laughs> is going to be methyl benzene, a toxic toluene. And you don't want that in your body, believe me. So always look for sublimated C60. And, there are, and we're not the only one that sells sublimated C60. There's, there's several companies out there that do that because, you know, they use it themselves and they want a healthy product for the, themselves, and their, their family, and their customers. So always look for sublimated C60. And then the final thing is kind of the, is the oils that they're in. You want the Goldilocks of kind of like selection of oils. There are some oils which are really long shelf lives but are very inflammatory because they have really high levels of omega-6s and 9s. Things like sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil, soybean oil. Uh, you really don't want any of those oils in your diet, basically. And you certainly don't want your C60 in that oil because it's, it's inflammatory and it's counteracting the anti-inflammatory properties of C60. And then there's other oils which are really healthy oils for you because they're really high in omega-3s like hemp seed oil and flaxseed oil and fish seed oil. Unfortunately, these oils go rancid really quickly. And so like you should never buy those oils off the shelf anyway in your health food store. Always buy like hemp seed or flaxseed or fish oil out of the refrigerated section of your health food store, please, because if you take it on the shelf, there's a high probability it's rancid. So what we do at C60 Purple Power is we've chosen kind of like the Goldilocks selection of oils. We have all organic uh, extra virgin olive oil because we all know about the Mediterranean diets and the benefit of that. Now, for me, I have kind of like a sensitive digestive system. And if I was to take like a tablespoon of, of olive oil on an empty stomach, I might have to like go visit the bathroom after a while. So I also provided an avocado oil, which is, which, which is just as healthy as, as olive oil, but it's so much easier to digest in your body. And then we have, of course, MCT coconut oil which I, I make, which is, uh, now MCT holds about half the C60 that the that avocado or olive oil hold, but because of the benefits of the uh, medium chain triglycerides, your liver turns that to, uh, to you know, ketones, which is a flex fuel for your body. People with glucose processing issues or athletes really love the MCT oil. So those are kind of like the Goldilocks selection. They, got, they, got, they, they stay stable for a long time. They're anti-inflammatory and healthy for you. And so that's, and they're all organic. So that's kind of the oil selection that you want to be looking for. That's great. That is, uh, that's fantastic. And then um, if people are interested in, you know, C60 Purple Power, where can they find you guys? You know, I appreciate your time so much, Ken. This has been fantastic. And, you know, I've heard about uh, and, and even been using C60 myself for quite some time now. And it just made sense to add you on here to have a conversation about this. And if people decide they want C60 Purple Power, where can they find you guys at? Well, they can find us at c60purplepower.com. But I believe you have a link. I, I do. I'll provide that uh, also. Mm -hmm. But I actually you know, talked with, talked with Ken about this. So I'll link to this in the show notes if, if you're interested. But Ken and uh, their team was gracious enough to offer 10% off to the Bone Coach uh, community. So all you do is enter Bone Coach, B-O-N-E-C-O-A-C-H at checkout. They'll give you 10% off, which, which is fantastic. And we appreciate that, Ken. Um, anything else you want to share as a closing note with our audience uh, about C60, about health, about life, about, you know, anything? Well, you know, what we're really, you know, the customers we're looking for and the people that C60 is going to really benefit are those that are actively working on their health journey. 
And so, and as I mentioned before, C60 is just one tool. It's an important tool, but it's just one tool in, uh, in your path to good health. So you, you need to do all the other things, proper nutrition, proper sleep, proper supplementation, proper, all of those things together. And, and also probably the most important thing is educating yourself. And I, we always uh, like to encourage people to go out and educate themselves about C60. And, and one of the important things I want to point out there is the only type of C60 which is beneficial is that which is dissolved as single molecules in usually in an oil. Okay, that's the only beneficial type. There's a lot of things where people there's you'll see studies out there and you'll that have some C60 has uh, some negative effects and every one of those studies is is particles of C60. Particles of C60 have no health benefits and can be inflammatory. And that's another thing if people are out there selling you like just selling you, uh, you know, water soluble C60. It's usually just little particles of C60 that are suspended in water and won't have any health benefit. And I won't mention names. So you always want to make sure in the scientific studies and in the products you buy, it's individual molecules dissolved in an oil because that's the only type that has any health benefit for you. That's fantastic. Uh, Ken, this has been a this has been a great educational experience for our entire audience. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for sharing. I'll I'll make sure I link to everything we discussed in this episode right below here. I'll also leave that ten percent off down in the down in the uh, show notes as well. And you can find all the resources, show notes, everything I mentioned here today over at BoneCoach.com forward slash C sixty Purple Power Bone Health Osteoporosis Ken Schwartz. And we'll see you in the next episode. Hey, it's Bone Coach Kevin Ellis. Hope you found that episode helpful and that you enjoyed it. Just one last reminder, if you haven't done so already, head over to bonecoach.com, sign up for your free seven-day osteoporosis kickstart. It's gonna tell you everything you need to do to start getting on the path to improvement. Hope you found this helpful. I'm your Bone Coach Kevin Ellis. I'll see you soon.